En question. Le président. Le président. Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Les débats reprennent. I hand over to the defense team for uh, kill some pawn to put questions to the witness. You may proceed. À l'équipe de Kyo Sampan pour la poursuite de l'interrogatoire du témoin. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. Je suis Arthur Verken, avocat international pour Monsieur Kyo Sampan. Et je vais vous poser euh, très rapidement quelques questions. Je pense deux tout au plus, donc je vais être très bref. Avant la pause, vous avez indiqué qu'à l'époque du Kampuchea démocratique, vous n'aviez pas de relation avec un, une personne appelée frère M. Ma question est la suivante. À l'époque du Kampuchea démocratique, entre 1975 et 1979, à cette époque-là, à un moment donné, avez-vous pensé que dans le cadre de votre travail, M. Kyusampan était votre supérieur hiérarchique Réponse. Réponse. No, I did not think so, but non, je n'ai pas pensé cela. It was my own uh, assumption or guess that uh, he could have been the uh, person in charge in the upper level, pouvait, but uh, I was not il sure. Partie de l'échelon supérieur. Mais je n'en étais pas sûr. I am not sure if he was my superior, but je ne sais pas it was avec my guess, my subjective guess that uh, he Mais c'était une hypothèse subjective uh, de ma part. Leader, je but me I do not know qu'il était peut-être uh, un organizational structure at the upper level. Mais je ne savais pas comment était structuré l'échelon supérieur. À l'époque du Kampuchea démocratique, saviez-vous quelle fonction étatique exerçait M. Kyosampan Prime Minister or so at that time Il he était Premier ministre ou quelque chose comme cela. The, the Prime Minister. Premier ministre. But as for which specific period pour ce qui of that regime I did not I de did not la know. Précise du régime, je n'en sais rien. Et cette Supposition que vous faisiez de son rôle à l'époque a-t-elle eu une influence sur votre réponse précédente, c'est-à-dire le fait que vous supposiez qu'il était au-dessus de vous Je répète, peut-être je reformule, si ça n'est pas clair, je vois que... Allow me to rephrase if the question is not entirely clear. Vous n'avez pas forcément compris ma question. Vous venez de dire que vous imaginiez qu'il était Premier ministre. He was Prime Minister. Est-ce que ce rôle supposé euh, était euh, un rôle qui vous avait amené à penser qu'il euh, était au-dessus de vous dans la hiérarchie Est-ce que c'est de cela, que est cela qui vous a amené à deviner qu'il avait peut-être une... un rôle au-dessus de vous la cabine française ne doit pas rien sortir de la cabine par rapport à 
His role was his role as the il faudrait demander Prime de Minister recommencer parce qu'on a perdu tout ce qui est my personal je, je vous presumption but excusez, it was the announcement euh, la cabine de des interprètes Pardon me for interrupting I think there seems to be a technical issue with the interpretation Please respond to the last question posed by the council. Maintenant, la cabine française entend. Le président demande aux témoins de répondre à la dernière question qui a été posée par la défense. Witness, le président. You may now answer to the last témoin, question posed by the defense council for Q Sampong. Response. Mr. Kilsampon's role as the Prime Minister was not my plain assumption, but it was Dire the official role known to the world. But as for his ma supposition, role, role overseeing the bank, connu, uh, I cannot say it with certainty. Role en matière de supervision de la banque, là, je ne peux pas en parler avec certitude. Est-ce que vous connaissez l'écriture ou la signature de M. Kiosampan Are you familiar with the handwriting or the signature of Mr. Kiosampan Response, no, I am not. Réponse, non. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions, M. le Président. Mr. President, I have no further questions. Thank you. Le Président, merci. Defense team for Nunchia have the floor now in order to put questions to the witness. So, Governor, you may proceed. Je vous en prie. Maître Sonaron. Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, Good morning, Monsieur Honours. le Président, Madame, Good morning, Monsieur everyone. les juges. Good morning, Bonjour à tous Mr. Witness. et toutes. My name Bonjour, is Monsieur le Son Aron. Je m'appelle Maître Sonaron. Et je suis Conseil de la Défense de Nunchir. I have the following questions for you. J'aimerais vous poser les questions suivantes. Question. Do replies to the prosecution that you joined the revolution during Sankum Rihnium. That is in the 60s. Is that correct? Can you rejoint le mouvement révolutionnaire à ce moment-là. Est-ce exact? Response. Yes, that is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Question. Can you recall about what year did you join? Souvenez-vous en quelle année? Vous avez rejoint le mouvement. Response, I cannot recall the year. Réponse, je Thank ne me souviens you. pas de l'année exacte. Question. Question. 
When you join the front for the revolution, quand vous avez rejoint le front révolutionnaire, were you still a student or you were a toujours worked? étudiant ou étiez-vous déjà au travail? Response: Yes, I Réponse. can recall. I already engaged in employment. J'étais déjà euh, en train de travailler. Question. Question. When you joined the front? Quand vous avez rejoint le front? What was it called? Was it are they a front of the state call a, a Khmer Rouge? Quelle était la désignation ou le terme employé? Était un, déjà le front? Est-ce qu'on appelait cela les Khmer Rouge? Do you know the acronym Funk or Grunk? Connaissez-vous? Connaissez-vous à l'époque euh, l'acronyme Funk ou Grunk? Funk and Grunk. Response: Yes, I heard of Funk and Réponse. Grunk. Oui, j'avais entendu parler du Funk et du Grunk. Question. When did you Question. hear that? Et quand en avez-vous entendu parler? Response: I cannot Réponse. recall the year. Je ne me souviens pas de l'année. But at that time, there was a front with His Majesty. À l'époque, il existait un front. But I cannot recall the exact. C'était le funk, mais je ne me souviens pas de l'année exacte. Thank you. Question. Question. Merci. When you joined the front? Quand vous avez rejoint le front? Does it mean you joined the Fung or Grunk or the front Quand of the Khmer Rouge? vous avez Khmer rejoint Rouge? le front, est-ce est le Funk ou le Grunk ou le front des Khmer Rouges? Response. Initially, Réponse. the word Khmer Rouge was not used On n'utilisait pas l'expression Khmer Rouge. As for Grunk and Funk, I du was et du not funk, active in that je movement. Pas actif dans ce mouvement. I joined a movement and it was not known as a Khmer Rouge mouvement, movement at all at that time. Mouvement mouvement Khmer Rouge à Question. You told the chamber that you joined Question. the front in the 1960s. And when you were a student, Quand vous étiez did you hear about étudiant. the various groups entendu parler to liberate the country? Des différents groupes qui existaient pour la libération Namely, du pays, notamment the Siung Ngoc Minh group, the Chan Reang Sai group, Kai Tok group, etc. Kai Tok Did you hear the names groups. of those groups? Have you heard these groups, which I just gave you the name of Khmer? Response, yes, I did. Question. At that time, you were not active in joining any of these parties. À l'époque, vous n'étiez pas actif dans ces parties ou ces groupes. Response. Exact. That is correct. Oui, c'est exact. Let me confirm that. At that time, the word front was not even heard of. À l'époque, on n'utilisait même pas le mot front. Only later stage, the word front was used. Ce n'est que plus tard que l'on a commencé à employer cette expression. Question. Uh, let me uh, correct my statement. At that time, the word they used was "esara," and only later the word "renaissance." Uh, oui, Front corriger. or "renaissance" in Khmer was uh, referred to. L'expression "isarak" et ce n'est que plus tard qu'on utilise l'expression "khmer renaissance" ou uh, "front". That is from 1960 to 1975. At the Khmer and the Cambodian Vietnamese border, there was intense fighting between the Vietnam and Vietnam. With the backing and support from the United States to fight against the Vietcong, the North Vietnamese soldiers involved in the fighting against the Vietcong. Involved in the 
conflict and it spread and spilled over into the Cambodian territory. Cela a débordé en territoire cambodgien. These are the factors for the killing of people by the Khmer Rouge, as alleged. Et c'est and les facteurs in the qui ont mené au Khmer Rouge à tuer des gens de façon du moins les allégations. Et à la frontière, il y avait des soldats Viet Cong qui ont bring se sont réfugiés en territoire cambodgien avec des facts, munitions et des médicaments. L'avez-vous su Mr. President, uh, the prosecution, you may proceed. Le président, oui, la parole est à la Again, Mr. President, I'm reluctant to intervene, but this is a whole series of facts that uh, the council has just testified to and asked the witness uh, whether or not he was aware of them. Um, I don't think it's a proper way to ask questions to the witness. Um, I don't think it's a proper way to ask questions to the witness. I don't think it's a proper way to ask questions to the witness. The defense counsel, I believe the prosecution is now replying on behalf of the witness and the prosecution is now Replying on behalf of the witness, and I'd like to reject that reply. The prosecution. The prosecution. May I continue my question? Mr. President, The observation by the prosecution is appropriate. Il s'agit en effet d'un commentaire approprié de la part de l'accusation. Mr. Witness, you do not need to respond to the question. Je ne vais pas répondre à cette question. Defense counsel, on demanderait. It is not necessary for you to make a long comment and then put a question to the witness. De ne pas faire de longs commentaires et ensuite de ponctuer par une question. Do you have to make your question? Clearly and understandable, so that the witness can respond. Pour que le témoin puisse répondre. Kim Su Kim Chao Sun Nuni, I Kim Nung Su. I will move on to another question. Je vais passer à une autre question. From 1969 until early 1970, where did you stay? Did you stay in Phnom Penh, or were you at the zone that belongs to the front? Dans les zones sous le contrôle du front. Response. I was in Phnom Penh. J'étais à Phnom Penh. Question. Question. Were you working at that time? Did you engage in employment yet by that time? Est-ce que vous travailliez à l'époque? Aviez-vous un emploi? Response. Réponse. Yes. Oui. Question. Question. It is my understanding that you are an intellectual and you have experience. Je crois comprendre que vous êtes a lot un intellectuel. About the facts. During the period from 1969 to 1970, 1969 did you hear or did you see or through? Newspapers that the North Vietnamese soldiers entered the Cambodian territory in massive numbers. Question. 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 Question.
the event took place before the Khmer Rouge coming into control, and it was a history. And of course, I cannot tell you what was written in the newspapers. Ce sont des faits qui permettraient d'avoir un procès équitable. Et en 1970, il y avait des soldats Khmer Rouge et des Vietcong qui on les attaque continue until 1975. Les attaques qui se sont maintenues jusqu'en 1975. Où étiez-vous à ce moment-là Réponse, j'étais à Phnom Penh. Question. En 1973, à la mi-73, les Vietcong troupes les soldats Vietcong, that means the North Vietnamese soldiers, à savoir les Nord-Vietnamiens, ont retiré Cambodia. une bonne partie de leurs troupes du territoire cambodgien. Did you know about that? Le saviez-vous? Je ne m'en souviens pas clairement. Question. Question. You said you cannot recall that clearly. Vous dites que vous ne vous en souvenez pas. Don't you remember it, or you did not know anything about that? Vous en souvenez-vous ou ne le saviez-vous tout simplement pas? Response. I cannot recall it at all. Je ne me souviens pas du tout. Bill. Bill Dell. Question. En 1954, à la fin de la colonie française au Cambodge, il y a eu des combats d'ultimes combats du Vietnam Bien 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 Phu et arrêté The 12 to 15 year old Khmer children to educate the communist philosophy in Hanoi. Those children later returned to Cambodia. Des endoctrinants de l'idéologie à Hanoi. Ces enfants sont retournés au Cambodge par la suite pour contrôler le pays. As I know, these children married Vietnamese wives. Les enfants ont épousé des femmes vietnamiennes, mais pour des raisons qui ne sont inconnues, ils ne sont pas devenus des leaders communistes qui ont pris le contrôle du Cambodge. Nous nous opposons à cela. Vous venez tout juste de dire au Conseil de s'abstenir de... J'aimerais donner quelques, un peu de contexte au témoin avant de poser ma question. The Chinese Communist Khmer Rouge group took control of Cambodia from 1975 to 1979. Were you well aware of this fact as documented, or did you hear anything about that? Ou en avez-vous entendu parler Of course, I started from the outset that you are an intellectual. J'ai commencé en disant que vous étiez un intellectuel, que peut-être vous devriez le savoir. The lead co-leader, you may be the president. Ça, c'est le président. 
Oui, Monsieur le Président, je voudrais faire une objection à yes, cette question, à la suite de like cette question telle qu'elle vient d'être exposée. Il me semble que l'avocat de M. Nouncia a saisi l'opportunité de poser des questions pour exposer sa propre vision historique sans la fonder sur des documents précis. Et je pense que ce n'est pas le moment de faire ce genre de choses. L'accusation, souhaitez-vous ajouter quelque chose the opportunity for you to make any objection before the floor is taken to reply by the defense counsel on this very same issue? Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I think the uh, lead co-lawyer um, has, has uh, put the objection eloquently. Ma consoeur a add. présenté son objection de façon très éloquente. Nous n'avons rien à ajouter. Defense counsel. La défense. I'd like to respond to the oui, objection raised by the par la lead co-lawyer for the civil parties. This is one important fact. C'est un fait très important. Leading to the prosecution Et and trial of qui a mené the poursuite leaders. Engagé contre les dirigeants Khmer Rouge. Et j'aimerais justement porter ce fait à l'attention du témoin avant que je lui pose ma question. Le président, l'objection est retenue. Maître, hein, vous ne pouvez pas poser de telles questions. Nous avons rappelé au début de poser des questions claires et concises pour obtenir une réponse claire de la part du témoin. Le deuxième les faits que vous évoquez ne font pas partie des faits à l'égard de l'ordonnance de clôture. Et sont dénués de pertinence. Pour faire une procédure, M. le témoin, vous n'avez pas à répondre à cette question. La défense, j'ai plus de 10 questions à poser au témoin. Qui se fondent sur des documents historiques, books, sur des ouvrages, et aussi sur mes connaissances personnelles et ma... Mr. President, de l'époque, le président, ruled la chambre a tranché. The chamber that you should make your question precise. Vous devez poser des questions précises and understandable to the witness, and they, are, they have to be relevant Et ces questions doivent être to the facts stated in the closing order. Dans de the facts you mentioned cannot les be found by the bench in the closing order. Ne se order. nulle part dans l'ordonnance de clôture. There was no mentioning of the Dien Bien Phu War Aucune mention de Dien Bien Phu comme faisant partie des order. faits dans l'ordonnance de clôture. You are so reminded again Et to be mindful in your questioning to the rappelons. witness. No party can draw experience de, de, from personal knowledge. Attention quand vous posez vos questions, vous aucune partie ne peut utiliser son expérience personnelle. Serve as a witness, sinon vous devriez être un témoin et pas partie de la procédure, maître. Because if you relied your knowledge on the si facts, vous vos sur then you should be you should treat yourself as a witness. Des faits ou votre expérience personnelle, eh bien, vous devriez déposer en qualité de témoin. Please pose other questions, and your Donc, questions poser so questions. be precise and clear. Et des questions claires, précises, Otherwise, concises. It may face the objections by the Sinon, parties or ruled out by the bench. Jugé, euh, Thank you, Mr. President. Maître Solaroui, merci, questions. Monsieur le Président. La plupart de mes questions ne sont pas les questions qu'ont posées les enquêteurs du bureau de cours d'instruction. Mais si, mais 
question then, uh, sur le sujet hors contexte, my mais, pour, and hand the floor to mais my pourtant véridiques et frontales sont fondées sur des faits historiques, eh bien, je laisse la parole à mon confrère international. Mr. President, the International Council, you may proceed. La parole est au Conseil international de Nunchen. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Maître Pas. Merci, Good morning, Mr. Sakim Lemout. Bonjour, Monsieur Sakim. Thank you for being here Merci today. Avec vous um, I will <coughs> pose a number of questions uh, relating to uh, the testimony that you have given before Portant the co-investigating judges. And my first question uh, is the following. You have been presented with a large number of documents by documents. the investigators of the co-investigating judge. And these documents are allegedly dating from the Et time of the DK regime. Ce sont les documents qu'on dit qui remontent à l'époque du régime du Kampuchea démocratique. Did these documents help you Ces documents to vous ont-ils aidé à comprendre la structure regime. du système euh, du régime du Kampuchea démocratique Réponse. It does help to a degree, but it cannot oui, help me with every detail mesure, of, of the structure of the regime. Tous les détails de la structure du gouvernement. And sometimes I make my assumption based des fois, on those documents. Tire des, uh, Could you positions, tell us a little bit documents. more about that? that. How did you make your assumptions based on the documents that, that were shown to you? Suppositions. Comment avez-vous fait des suppositions sur la base des documents qui vous avaient été montrés par les enquêteurs du co juge d'instruction? Réponse. Those documents, and by considering the content, the annotation, we can see the change. En considérant le contenu des documents, les annotations qu'ils comportent, on peut voir la hiérarchie et qui faisait rapport à qui. Thank you. Question. I may go Merci. come back to this topic later, but for now, that's all as to the sources of knowledge. Merci. 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 Uh, the sources of knowledge. Uh, autre chose. Uh, Mr. Witness, during de, uh, the DK regime, were you ever sujet. present Monsieur at meetings where the export of rice was discussed? Présent lors des réunions où l'on discutait des exportations de riz. I did not take part in the decision making of the exporting of rice. Decision quant à l'exportation de riz. That was the duty of Cette the commerce ministry. Au ministère du commerce. But personally, I did not take part Je in that. Je n'ai pas personnellement participé à ce processus. Do you know which Question. persons were involved qui? in deciding whether or not rice would be exported? Savoir s'il fallait exporter ou non du riz. Response, no, I do not know. Je ne sais pas. We just spoke about rice. Nous avons parlé de riz. There's also uh, the possibility of exports of other On avait pu foodstuffs. Denrées alimentaires. Were you ever present at meetings where the export of other foodstuffs was discussed? De l'exportation d'autres denrées alimentaires. Réponse, no, non, uh, jamais. Question. Vous avez dit auparavant que that unmilled rice was not exported in large quantity. Vous pensez que le Can you padi n'avait pas été exporté en that? grande quantité. Pouvez-vous nous dire pourquoi? Uh, 
année que Kyoka... Réponse. C'était une supposition de ma part. Il n'y avait pas de statistiques ou de données qui m'apportaient à tirer. Et cette conclusion, ce n'est que récemment que j'ai vu les statistiques. Mais à l'époque du régime, je n'ai pas vu beaucoup d'activités. Mais je n'avais pas de données ou de statistiques. J'ai pas de données ou de statistiques précises à vous donner, à vous remettre. I would like to follow up on this a little bit. Um, you agree with me that you did assume this, and you say it's a personal assumption. Personnel de votre part. Can you try to explain to us? A bit more specifically, on what basis you assume that that assumption came from a personal conviction? What was that personal conviction based on? And if it was a conviction, personal, can you tell us where it came from? The President, Mr. Witness, please hold on. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez the civil party lawyer, you may proceed. Oui, Monsieur le Président, puisque mon confrère Mr. semble vouloir poser une série de questions sur ce point, je ne fais pas une objection, mais je souhaite qu'il nous indique uh, subject, à quel moment et sur quelle base il fonde like son to affirmation to sur laquelle le témoin aurait affirmé ici que le paddy n'avait pas été uh, exporté en grande quantité. Parce qu'il parle de cette hypothèse, vous lui posez sa série de questions. Quelle est la base base pour cette assertion? The President, Defense Council, do you have any response to this observation? Ou à cette observation? Mr. President, yes, I can provide Council with this statement, but I do not see if it's a way we want to go forward if every time I quote si uh, the witness bonne à si and à quoting fois que je documents cite that are available to témoin, all the parties uh, and that are accessible uh, to qui all parties in preparation for such a witness testimony, we time and again need to provide si specific references. You are very keen to make this into an expeditious trial. Vous I'm trying to move things forward. I will provide you with the reference if that's what you want me to do, but I think for the sake of Donc je pense que pour um, des fins de the questioning so much more efficient et ce serait beaucoup plus efficace proceed. si l'on pouvait procéder de cette façon.
president le president objection by the civil party lawyer de la partie civile against the last question posed by the defense council for nuen chia is sustained de nuen chia est retenu the defense council is instructed to put questions that is relevant to the document and the identity doc of the document should be mentioned, particularly concerning the words uh, he used in his earlier testimony. And the question posed to him should be precise and succinct. so that uh, the witness can respond to the question Ainsi, efficiently. Le témoin pourra y répondre de manière précise. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, the Merci. reference can be found Monsieur in Président, document D279-7. It is um, the answer to question 63, it is on uh, English ERN page 00425229. My case manager can put it up on the screen and uh, in Khmer and a hard copy can be provided to the witness if uh, that is what is needed and we can uh, then proceed from there. I, I, I believe that the witness has if possibly even several copies of this statement. So Je pense if que um, a une, voire the, de cette uh, perhaps it's not necessary to provide him with a hard copy of the, uh, of the document. So for the clarity of the witness, it's the answer to Donc question 63. La à la question 63. So, Mr. President, with your uh, permission, si my case manager can put it up on the screen. Je à mon chargé de dossier de faire afficher cela oh, le président. The president, you may proceed. Allez-y, je vous en prie. Assistant and AV support assistance, uh, please make sure that the document is uh, projected Monsieur on the screens and court officer is now instructed to pres uh, to indicate the portion of the document subject to discussion now indiquer au témoin l'extrait pertinent et faire apparaître le document à l'écran A response in question 63. The question asks, can you tell us the amount of unmilled rice exported? And my answer back then was, 
I cannot tell you on this scene there was no statistics. Moreover, it was more than 30 years ago. I have not recorded it on paper, so I could not recall it. However, I could presume that animal rice was not exported in large quantity. Le paddy n'était pas exporté. And I just saw the documents yesterday when it was presented to me, the document from the Commerce Committee. But back then I did not have access to that statistic, so it was my subjective assumptions that the annual rise was not expected in large quantity. I did not have the statistic at my disposal. If I had access to statistic, I would be able to give a specific answer to the question. Thank you, Mr. Witness. That is similar to the answer you gave earlier, and I understand that you did not have access to statistics, and I understand that you only saw this other document only yesterday. However, I am interested in hearing where your presumption came from. You were working in this organization. You were dealing with imports and exports, possibly in a limited fashion, but you were exposed to these issues. So can you explain where your presumption came from that unmilled rice was not exported in large quantities? la quantité de paddy exporté n'était pas grande. I still maintain my answer that it was my subjective assumption. And as for the basis for that assumption, I do not have any other reason to substantiate that assumption. And if my assumption was wrong, then it was the presumption on the top of my head eh bien, that uh, the quantity exported was not supposition much. Improvisée, et supposé que les but based on très the grandes. statistic recorded in the paper, Mais I did not uh, read it in detail, but if it was uh, in large quantity, then uh, my assumption would be wrong then. Mais uh, I had no um, en fait, uh, argument on that. Les I will leave it to the chamber to decide on such matter. Thank you, um, Là, Mr. Witness. I am not trying to argue with you on this issue Je ne vais pas at all. I'm just trying to find out your sources of knowledge with regard to this particular issue. I will move on because you indicate it's a personal presumption. My following question relates to your answer to question 62 in the same document, where when asked by the investigators how were foods exported? Your answer is, so far as I remember, there were milled and unmilled rice, rubber, cotton from kapok, agriculture products included beans, soybeans, etc. There were not plenty of them, though I do not know the details. I will give you a minute to locate the answer to question 62. So my question to you is, how did you know or how did you reach the conclusion that um, there were not plenty of exports of agriculture products? I
Anel? Réponse. Réponse. The reason was the same as what I have stated. It was the presumption on the top of my head that the quantity was not much. And again, I did not have access to the statistics. And you, if you ask me for the uh, detailed basis of my assumption, then I think uh, there was no clear uh, official statistic of agricultural products. And if you ask me for the details uh, of the basis for my presumption, I did not know. And I could have been wrong in my presumption. Me suis -je en une telle then you could uh, compare it with the uh, official Le statistic Chien, from the uh, Commerce Committee. Cela avec les statistiques du Comité du Commerce. I, th I think your answer is, is clear. I, I will move on to, a, uh, Merci, to the next Je topic, um, which is related to this issue. And I would like question. to uh, show a Je document um, to you document with a number D279-7.4. Uh, another document reference number, it would be for the same document, would be E3. Slash eight two nine English reference number or ERN number is zero 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 two seven one four. My reference number or ERN number is zero 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 two seven one one. And with your president's permission, I would like to show this uh, document on the screen. And it's uh, the document called Report on the Negotiation Between Democratic Cambodia's Commercial Delegation and People's Republics of China's International Trade Delegation. And it's dated December 3, 1978. We spoke about this document yesterday in court as well. Is it, do, do you have a hard copy of this particular document in front of you, or shall we provide you with one? Un exemplaire papier, ou faut-il que nous vous en remettions un? President, you may proceed. And assistance, uh, please have this document displayed on the screen. And court officer, please. Aller chercher ce document. Indicate the portion of this document to the witness. This document Et has uh, been presented uh, to the witness so far. Pertinent à l'intention du témoin. Ce document a déjà été présenté au témoin. Mr. President, with all the documents in front of this witness, maybe it's more convenient if we provide him with our copy Comme so that it a can be un grand de more easily studied. So the portion I want to ask you 
a question about is on page two, on the top of that page, and it's marked in blue. I'll give you a minute to read it. Ceci est indiqué en bleu. Je vous laisse quelques instants pour lire cet extrait. Witness, I have already read this portion. Thank you. Just to be clear for the people that don't um, read Khmer on the screen, I will read out in English. Uh, this portion of the document states, and I quote, adding to the threat of war, we have suffered two devastating floods this year, which were the largest in 70 years. This disaster affects our, our agriculture. As a result, we could not export as we planned for this year. My question to you, Mr. Witness, is do you remember those two devastating floods in 1978? Devastatrice qui ont eu lieu en 78. Respond. I do not remember them. Je ne m'en souviens pas. Ok. La défense. Très bien. Then I will move to a. Dans ce cas-là. Following topic, which relates to um, documents IS twenty one point one three zero. It is a document um, by the uh, Ministry of Commerce. C'est un document du ministère de commerce. English ERN is zero zero six zero zero six six four four nine four. My ERN is. 00072699 and the French ERN is uh, 00643583. And with your permission, Ms. President, I would like to uh, provide the witness with a hard copy and show it on the screen. À ce témoin, un exemplaire du document et le faire affiché à l'écran. Le président. The president. Court officer, please obtain the document Monsieur from the defense counsel and present it to the witness first. I must point out that um, before I proceed to use this document that I do not know if this document was actually listed on the prosecutor's uh, submission for this particular part of the trial. I do submit that it's a document that was used in the introductory submission by the prosecution. Apparently, the prosecution has relied on it. It relates to matters that are relevant to this witness and to the topic that this witness is talking about, and it uh, would allow me to tie the topics that I have been covering today with an actual document that uh, is on the case file and uh, accessible to all parties and translated in all three languages. Au dossier qui a été versé, so I wait for your ruling langues, on this as to whether I can use the document or not. Et qui est accessible aux parties. J'aimerais savoir si je suis autorisé à utiliser ce document. If I can assist, uh, Mr. President, um, just a brief look at our database. Um, uh, at short notice, it does appear to have been on our list, um, and if need be, I can confirm in a minute the exact ERN, but it certainly does appear to have been on our list. Ce document figure 
dans notre liste. Laissez-moi quelques instants pour retrouver les ERN. Witness saw Kum Lamut. Have you Monsieur seen this document before? Witness. Mr. President, I have never seen this document before. The President. Court officer is now instructed to remove this document from the witness. And assistants, uh, please make sure that this document is also removed from the computer screen. The President, the Chamber wishes to remind the Defense Council that for any document to be à la défense, ce qui suit. questioned si with the witness, une the Defense Council entend utiliser un document pour interroger le is témoin, required to identify il the convient documents d'identifier le document it en is question subject to examination. avant de poser des questions It should not be a practice that such document be placed uh, in the court and then uh, uh, in the court with uh, uncertainty. So you may now move on. Thank you, Mr. President. Just to be absolutely clear, we did uh, indicate this document on the list of documents that we would be using for the questioning of this witness. I also want to make a more general observation. I am sure that uh, the prosecution will um, support me in, in my submissions, at least to a certain extent. This is a relevant document. Un document It relates pertinent. to the export Il porte of rice. Sur les this witness was close to the action, if I want to say it in an um, easy way. He could shed light on these documents, especially because they relate to financial matters, income de ce qui se for rice that Il was exported to, in this case, uh, Madagascar. This witness is knowledgeable on these issues, and if the witness was allowed to comment on these issues before the co-investigating si judges, whenever the investigators presented him with a document, then there's no principled reason why he should not be allowed to comment on this document. That is what uh, the questioning of a witness de is about. This is relevant information that we try to extract from this witness, and you are limiting our opportunity Or, for an effective questioning of the witness. As I said, all the questions that I posed dit, today were tied together in this document and could be further clarified by posing questions about this particular document. So yet again, we cannot question this witness effectively, and I see no other choice than to um, stop here. The President, uh, Council Michael Canavas, you may proceed. Mr. President, good morning, Your Honours, and good morning to everyone in and around the court. As I understand uh, the trial chamber's decisions concerning these matters, if the, doc, if the, the gentleman is unaware of the document, obviously he can't talk about uh, that document, but nothing prevents a party from posing questions related to contents within the document. Uh, and the President, we do not Merci. 
Merci prevent beaucoup. the defense counsel from Nous asking the question about the content of the documents, but we simply ask uh, that the document be removed uh, from the computer screens. And if the defense uh, counsel wants si to ask questions, then questions, uh, he can put questions. But instead of putting questions, uh, he made a statement. So that has been the practice so far that the defense counsel can ask questions about the document, that the document must not be displayed on the screen. So there is no prevention whatsoever from the chamber that he uh, put the question concerning the document, but we simply ask that the document be removed. And we have ordered that the document be removed from the witness as well as from the computer screens. Ms. President, just, just to be absolutely La clear on this issue, que les soient bien there is a serious limitation of the right to question a witness Notre if documents cannot be used. Si on peut pas there is merit to using documents, Il est and that is exactly the documents. reason why you, 30 minutes ago, forced me to put a document on the screen. It's there for all to see and to verify. So it is limiting, and I have not yet heard in the last few months a principled explanation as to why we cannot use documents that have not been seen by a witness before coming into this courtroom. So it is limiting, and I have not yet heard in the last few months a principled explanation as to why the President, you may refer to our decision earlier. Je vous renvoie à la décision que nous avons rendue. The transcript of the decision of the chamber concerning matters of this nature. You may have taken turns among yourself in the teams. That's why you have missed this portion of the ruling. De votre équipe assiste à l'audience à tour de rôle et apparemment vous avez manqué. Que vous avez so you do not have questions? any further question to Je the witness, que non, is that pas? correct? The President, Council, you may proceed. International La Council for Nguyen Chia, you may proceed. Mr. President, yes. Monsieur le Président, did the floor, considering that I cannot use that document as a parole, basis for my questioning. questioning. Pour Thank you. Le Merci. The President, the National Defense Council for Inksari, you may proceed. Council Anudom. Thank you. Merci. Thank you, Mr. President, Your Honours. Monsieur le Président, Mesdames, Messieurs, les juges. And hello to everyone in and around Je the courtroom. And hello, Mr. Sorkin Lemot. I am the National Defence Council for Yangsari. Je suis avocat cambodgien de Yangsari. In order to save the court time, I would like to du temps, uh, confirm that uh, we do not have questions que nous uh, for you, de but uh, on behalf of my poser. international uh, esteemed colleagues, Mr. Karnavas and I, I would like to thank you very much for availing yourself de uh, before the court, je vous contributing venu to asserting the truth. Pour contribuer à la manifestation de la vérité. The President, thank uh, you, I, the defense team for King Sari for Merci confirming your position concerning uh, the questioning of this witness so that the chambers will have uh, the uh, basis in order to ensure that the proceedings before us is expeditious and efficient.
Mr. President, I now hand over the floor to Judge Jean-Marc Lavergne. Oui. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Yes. J'aurais peut-être une President. question à poser aux témoins pour clarifier un point qui a été déjà longuement abordé. Mais euh, il s'agit de l'identification du dénommé M. The identification of Vous avez été interrogé, Monsieur le témoin, à nombreuses Witness, reprises sur l'identité de M, qui as to the identity dans, of uh, M, différents comptes rendus. Which name appears vous in avez dit que various vous uh, avez uh, identifié M, you non pas that uh, you sur le moment, him. lorsque, uh, à l'époque du Campuche démocratique. Mais lorsqu'on uh, vous avez not présenté during ces the documents, period of democratic est-ce que, uh, à votre connaissance, uh, to you, il y aurait d'autres personnes you know qui pourraient être identifiées comme étant M, d'autres personnes que Kyo Sampan Parce que vous avez dit que vous basiez cette analyse sur euh, des considérations d'ordre subjectif. That you base your analysis on subjective mais il me semble que les rapports But présentent des éléments objectifs. C'est la mention de M. Alors, est-ce que selon vous, M. il y aurait des raisons objectives so qui permettraient de douter de l'identification de M comme étant Kyo Sampan We can doubt that Kyo Sampan is a person as identified as M. Monsieur le Président, Mr. President, je vous prie d'excuser mon intervention. Vous ne pouvez put soulever l'objection à une question posée par le uh, juge. On the bench. Response, Mr. President, concerning the name à propos Haim, it's de ce nom. a bit Haim. complicated to respond because there could have been many Haim Il pu y avoir plusieurs Haim that I did not know. Que je ne connaissais pas. And in other documents, particularly documents, documents from the Commerce Committee, des documents émanant du comité du commerce, they were addressed to Brother Haim. And I did not have any official document to indicate Je that Haim was referred uh, to as Q Sampon. Le nom de Q Sampon. But later on, it was known to everybody tard, that Haim was the alias for Kyo Sampon. But if you ask me for Kyo-Sampon. the proof of document to si indicate objectively that Haim was Kyo Sampon, I could not find. But it was the general knowledge of, of the public that uh, Haim was public. referred to as Tout le monde Haim. But if there were any other documents, that contained the name Haim, uh, which did not refer to Kyo Sampan, then uh, I had no idea about that. Je ne sais pas. S'ils existent, je ne saurais vous dire. The president. Le président. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Once again, uh, thank you for spending your valuable plus. time uh, to appear before the chamber, and thank you for Nous making effort votre to respond to all the questions by parties. Beaucoup de vos efforts pour répondre à toutes les questions que vous ont posées les parties. Now the testimony. Your testimony is coming to an end.
So you can be now released, you can go back to your home. We would like to wish you a safe trip back home. Court officer is instructed to work with the witness support section to facilitate the transport uh, back home of the witness. Chez lui, du témoin, et ce de concert avec la section d'appui aux témoins aux experts. The chamber wishes to advise the party and la members of the public that dans les parties et le public. Uh, the chamber will hear another witness, TCW604, and the question will be first put uh, by the parole, president of the chamber to that witness. The time is now appropriate for lunch chambre, adjournment. The, the chamber déjeuner. will adjourn from la now until 1.30 this afternoon. Now I Note the defense counsel for uh, Nantes on his feet. You may proceed. Mr. President, um, Nunti, I would like to follow the proceedings from his holding cell this afternoon, and we have the waiver to submit to you. Le document de renonciation à vous remettre. Le président. The president. Thank you. Merci, Maître. Having noted the request by Mr. Nuentier to his defense counsel de de to follow the proceeding from the holding cell downstairs for the remainder of the proceeding. Uh, he has expressly waived his right to be present in this courtroom, and his counsel has already made it clear that uh, they would Et submit the letter of favor of the accused to the chamber. The chambre. chamber grants uh, the request. Mr. Nguyen may follow the proceeding Nguyen from a holding cell uh, downstairs through audiovisual means for the remainder of the proceeding le reste de today. And he has already Bonjour. expressed his waiver of rights to be present directly in this courtroom. The defense team for Nunti is required to submit the chamber the letter of favor with the sampling or signature from the accused Nunti. AV assistant is instructed to connect the audiovisual means so that Mr. Nunti can follow the proceedings from the holding cell for the remainder of the proceedings today. Detention Garde de security. security guards are instructed to uh, bring the co accused uh, to the holding cell downstairs, and Mr. Nguyen will remain in the holding cell where the audio visual equipment is linked for him. Uh, for Mr. Kilson Horn, he is to be brought before the chamber before 1.30 this afternoon. The court is adjourned.